What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WDYD CSP. What do you do as a central store processors? I apologize for the angle, but this is the best I can get my camera, which is an overhead view. So, as promised, I'm going to show you how to wrap a triangle a different way and the way you normally see it. Now, unfortunately, this triangle I have is um, a larger triangle. Um, or medium triangle and I do not have the correct size wrap for this triangle this is a 45 by 45 I wish I had a 48 by 48 so that I can get complete coverage in the back um, but because it's a 45 by 45 I'm just demonstrating this um, wrap for you guys um, eventually I will wrap this in a 54 by 54 which is actually a lot of wrap but that's the next size that we have so in order to properly wrap it, that's what I would use. But this is wrapping a triangle on a side, uh, on a side, uh, uh, I guess, angle, if you want to look, rather than the angle pointing away from you. So the first fold goes on top, and then you're going to continue wrapping like regular, right? You're going to kind of do that complete wrap on the top here, get that side there. Okay, the thing here is that you want to get those sides parallel. Okay, when you get to the bottom of the triangle, you're going to go ahead, create your little fold and bring that over. And this is easy peasy right now. This is this isn't this is a no brainer. The hardest part here is getting the last fold here. This took me a minute to figure this out. Um, I don't know why this was so difficult for me. I had seen a traveler do this or I seen this on a Facebook post. Um, the trick here is that you have to fold the one flap actually back the way I'm showing here. And then you're going to do a really extreme tuck on the high side of the triangle. Okay. And it'll give you complete coverage. So you want to make sure you have an extreme tuck so that you don't have a lot of overhang here. So... I apologize. I'm struggling here because I'm trying to get a good video, but you see, here's how it should look on the final wrap. Okay. So if you tuck that one side back, you get complete coverage of the top of the triangle, and then you're just going to go ahead and tuck all that in um, under the original two folds. All right. So you're going to go ahead and tuck, 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 tuck. Keep on tucking here. All right, it's going to go all the way under here till you create a nice little lip there. And there you go, guys. That's how you fold a triangle on the side view, on the, on the side slant. All right, this one, it took me a minute to practice this fold, um, but still a pretty wrap. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this on a traditional um, fold, how you'll see most individuals wrap it which is a very, very simple. Um, I usually teach most individuals to do wraps. Anything that you wrap, you wrap as is, as if it was a square. Well, with a triangle, you can't do that. But this is how this fold would go. Again, I, don't, I apologize. I don't have the correct size wrapper for this right now because I'm demonstrating this is a 45 by 45. I'll create the tail in a second here. Okay, again, the key here is to get a really, really deep um, uh, fold here. And then when you come over, you want to make sure that you're really snug on the side of the triangle. OK, now when you do that, your fold will slant and you'll have some overhang and that's fine. Don't worry about that overhang. Right. What you're going to do is go ahead, go ahead and create your little folds here. All right. And you might have to tuck down on that one. Do not worry about the overhang on the back of the triangle yet. All right, the next side, you're going to tuck over, create that flap to get that seal. And again, extreme on that one. And you're going to come all the way across on that. Again, really, really deep. You want to get real deep and then walk out a little bit. There you go. So that you're parallel with the back of that triangle. And again, a nice, deep, um, a nice, uh, tight, fold over to the side here you're going to create your tails again okay and again you see that overhang you're not going to worry about that overhang now to finish up this is very easy just 
flatten up your, your top here. You don't have to worry about tucking those corners in. You're just going to fold that whole piece over to the front there. And of course, I like walking my sides out to get complete coverage there. Not necessary to do, but um, it just looks a lot neater when you do a triangle, when you fold a triangle or when you wrap a triangle. I'm sorry, when you fold a triangle. And then you're going to tuck over the front here again, tucking over the original two flaps. OK, like I said, you don't have to worry about the um, overhang because when you tuck over and you create that little tongue, it's going to look all nice and pretty. Now you just want to iron everything out, smooth everything up, and then that's it. This is folding a triangle. Very easy. Very, very neat. All right, guys, as always, stay true to yourselves. Keep it 100. Continue educating yourself. Until next time, peace.